Hey guys, it's Grunge. Got a stakeout search and destroy gameplay for you guys on Hanwai. I have no idea how to pronounce it. I've never tried. I've never looked it up. So let's just go with Hanwai. Uh, just cause. Um, yeah, I'm running the stakeout today, and the stakeout is a really good shotgun. Definitely the best shotgun in Black Ops. Uh, it does the same damage as the Olympia, but with higher, but with a little bit more range, and the stakeout, this also applies to the HS-10. The only thing I don't like about them is uh, that these guns are not what I'm used to in shotguns. Um, what I mean by that, most shotguns will have, um, I mean, will have a tighter spread when you're firing from the hip, and a wider spread when you aim down sight with them. And aiming down sight with a shotgun to get that wider spread is good for when there are multiple targets or when it's hard to track someone. So, uh, oh, and right there, uh, it was host migration, so it skipped a little bit into the video, but, uh, yeah, it's all the same. Um, but the stakeout in the HS-10, when you aim down sight, it actually tightens the spread much tighter than, uh, steady aim can do, so that's why I run... Slide a hand pro on the stakeout in the HS10 so I can aim down sight, and it's pretty awkward, but you get used to it pretty fast. And the stakeout's not a bad gun, um, it's definitely the best shotgun in this game, in my opinion. It, but it does get a few hit markers, but never more than two, unlike all the other shotguns. And let's see, um, I'm running the Python this game just because that's my secondary choice. I don't like dual wield pythons. I think they're a little bit too good and not much of a challenge and I need something I can aim down sight with if I'm gonna use a shotgun because I don't have a whole lot of range. Alright, and there right there was I believe an ace. I could be wrong. Was that an ace? I, I don't remember. Anyway, uh <clears throat> I'm going to talk a little bit about Modern Warfare 3, which is coming out in a few months, and uh, I am looking forward to Modern Warfare 3. Not the multiplayer, but I'm really looking forward to the campaign. I know the multiplayer is either going to be too boring, or, well, I, you, you know, Infinity Ward's not really completely in charge of it, so it may be something completely different, and it's made by a completely different company called Sledgehammer, but, um, anyway, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the campaign, in all honesty. I loved Modern Warfare 2's campaign, and it picks up right where it left, where Modern Warfare 2 left off, and, um, it looks like a lot of fun, uh, you're fighting in downtown, uh, either, no, I think you're fighting in New York this time, or is it DC, I don't remember, but, they all look pretty, um, the campaign looks pretty good, and Modern Warfare 2's plot was great, and it's picking right up where it left off. One thing I never understood, though, is why, uh, why exactly, the, nah, never mind, I mean, it's a little bit far-fetched that the CIA would allow an American to go undercover and kill several hundred Russians just to get on the good side of someone, but, you know, it's a video game. And, anyway, the multiplayer Modern Warfare 3, uh, Sledgehammer uh, seems really sincere that they've learned from Infinity Ward's mistakes, and they're not going to bring, a, you know, an all-out, overpowered, broken game like Modern Warfare 2 was, an unbalanced game, uh, with all the explosives and the assault rifles and kill streaks and commando, OMA, all that stuff, but I'm glad that Infinity Ward's not making the multiplayer because I, I, I'm i not a fan of Infinity Ward uh, other than their single player games. I think Treyarch is definitely superior than uh, to Infinity Ward, and a lot of people call me crazy and whatnot, but if you think about it, they really are because Infinity Ward really doesn't care that much about the community unless you complain enough. Uh, an example would be the 1887s. It took a lot of complaining to fix that, along with the care package glitch in Modern Warfare 2. It took months for them to fix both of those things. Whereas Treyarch, when there was a problem, 
it would only take like a week or a couple weeks to fix it. But in both World at War and Black Ops, um, that, that that's just a simple way to look at it. The Treyarch cares more about their community. Whether you like Infinity War better or not, I think it's pretty clear that Treyarch are the better developers and uh, they kind of get hated on because their game, their Call of Duty games are a little bit different and a lot of people say they flat out hate Treyarch simply because, you know, they're fans of Infinity Ward and if you're a fan of one thing, you're going to be defensive about it and then end up hating about the other one when people try to defend it. An example would be Halo vs. Call of Duty. Um, you know, you may have never played Call of Duty in your life, but you're a Halo fan, so and people are trying to compare your favorite game to Call of Duty, so Call of Duty's terrible. Um, you know, it's like patriotism. It, your country is the best country in the world, uh, even though you've never been. Well, I don't think like that. I don't think America's the best country in the world at all. Definitely not, but that's just a lot of the mentality these days. Anyway, this game is coming to a close. I think... Yep, I pick up the final kill right there for the 13 and 1 search and destroy gameplay. Pretty good score considering the fact I was using a shotgun. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'll talk more about Modern Warfare 3 in my uh, t videos to come. And don't worry, I'm not abandoning Fallout. I just need a break from it. Uh, expect some Fallout videos later. And goodbye, guys.